welcome back friends, followers and transients to Kingdoms and Castles with me Vapor and what is this I see before me? I see a ship. Is it Vikings? Are we in trouble? I don't know. I guess we'll find out right after this. Oh, I do love a little bit of amateur dramatics. It's clearly a trader ship. The first one that we've actually seen. Uh, I said the first one we've seen. Um, it's not the first one I've seen. Um, this is the third, maybe fourth attempt of recording this episode. I've had so many technical issues. It's really, really frustrating. However, on the positive side, I've kind of learned a few things about the trading. Yeah, so we will take a look at that. Um, we will talk about this new bar down here in a, in a second. So, what have I learned? Well, I've learned that each time the trader comes, that the price of things fluctuate. Sometimes they're more expensive, sometimes they're cheaper, sometimes you don't get all of the resources. Uh, also the asking price, um, when, it, when you come to set the asking price, the asking price that we're asking anyway, when we come to trade, um, also fluctuates. There's also something else that you don't see here, um, called special items. Now, the only thing I've seen on there was plus 25% archer damage, and I could buy that, and I guess it, it just, kind of sits there the whole time and um, that cost 500 gold which you can clearly see we don't have at the moment um, so there's something to be said about kind of having a bit of spare gold in reserve if you possibly can but um, we're just going to ignore the trader for now because we don't need any resources um, I, I thought I'd just give you a quick overview of what I've picked up about that <laughs> right so <laughs> for the third or fourth time um, what we are going to do First off is, we're going to put some houses in. I do believe the ones I've currently got are not cur currently full. But since I've done this a couple of times, I've learnt one or two things. About the layout of my town. And we're now out of gold, so straight away, tax gold. Woo! Two. There we go. Um, any houses built near water get a plus eight kind of mood look. Um, much like the uh, the well. So the houses that I built here, as long as they've got water right next to them, they get plus eight. So for example, this one is currently at 79 happiness, but if I if I have the money, which I probably don't, oh, not quite, let me speed the game up. If I drop one of these, um, one of these moats randomly in, say here, which will cover both of these houses, like so, they will get a plus eight bonus. Now, the ones opposite won't, unfortunately. It literally has to be adjacent. But when we're talking about keeping happiness really high, if you have the space to put one of these in and they have access to all the other amenities in the area, it's just it's a good way of keeping that happiness up, even if you're ripping them off with their taxes. So, <laughs> yeah. Just that one thing that I've learned. Now, I guess some of you are probably already aware of that. It's just a gold issue. It is a gold issue. So there we go, water is built, and there we are, plus 8 happiness. So they're now 85, even though I'm charging them 2 times tax, which is great, you know. Who can who can argue with that? So we need another well over here. I'm probably going to put him inside. There's no probably about it. There we are. So what I would like to see, I mean, in fact, they're already in the game, aren't they? They are. We can bridge over them. Now here's... There's something that we may try um, in the town that we will build um, on the other island. Because I was thinking, and I've not tried this out yet, but I was thinking, why don't we do kind of like a Venice? So we'll have some canals going through um, and try and touch as many houses as we can with them. And we can have bridges across it. I, did, I completely forgot bridges were actually a part of the game. Um, so that... That is one positive there. Uh, yeah, I've done that right. So we'll have a market up here. As you can tell, I'm going to fly ahead a little bit. So this might be a slightly up-tempo uh, playthrough for me, which is slightly unusual. Um, we'll put you here, and because I know we're expanding people ridiculously, definitely going to need another hospital. And we've got lots of free people spare. Um, food is going to be a problem soon, and so is our stockpile. So straight away, because I know we've got quite a lot of stone, I'm going to turn this one off. But, as soon as that is, is gone, we will drop a stockpile in here anyway. Um, stone is not an issue when you've got tools. Um, I think I've got three quarries. 
four quarries. I definitely need to consider um, a wood production. I think I've only got two at the three at the moment, but quite a lot of wood is used. I mean, yeah, charcoal is only just about working, so we we'll probably have to drop another one out here somewhere. Probably there, to be honest. Yeah, somewhere in there. We, we will do that in due course. Um, how are we doing for people? We have quite a few idle, so I guess let's go with... Finishing off some of this wall. Um, yeah, I'm aware this end tower isn't as high as the other towers. Um, I noticed afterwards, and believe me, it's, it's been frustrating me. But I'm, I'm going to ignore it. It's not the end of the world. I think now. Well, I don't think I did these that high last time. So, uh, are you in the right? Yeah, I think about there. Okay. And then I can see that we're currently kind of whittling away our reserve of people here. And what I mean by that is we're, we're using the people that are probably farmers and whatever. But um, this will happen pretty quickly. Did we have those houses built? Oh, we built one. Is it full? Not quite. Let's get another manor house in if we can afford it. Yes, we can. Can we afford two? We can. Let's throw a party because if we throw a party, people come. Oh, yes. It's that exciting. Anyway, um, trained soldiers. Let's train another two because we have the armaments in there. And we're certainly going to have the people. And the reason being, I don't have any kind of defense over that side. Speaking of which, yeah, we have some, we have some money. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you're not a road. Why am I building you? Here we go. Here comes a terrible plague. It's almost like I'm an oracle or something. I've foreseen it. I don't know. I don't know if we'll catch everyone. Hopefully we will. That reminds me. I need to upgrade all these roads around here. Just to make things a little bit quicker. Especially when you've got um like your doctors running around trying to, to heal people. You've you've got your market marketeers, I think they call them in the game. Um running around bringing food and charcoal everywhere. Everything that speeds it up definitely helps. Did we get the plus eight on this one as well? We certainly did. Fantastic. And we came across a little bit of a bug. It's a bug from way back when. Uh, when you try to build something and it kind of gets stuck on the very last bit and you have to destroy the building and, and, and kind of do it all again. Which is which is a little sad to see. I thought they, they kind of got rid of that. It might have been a one-off. I'm not sure. But we are on the test branch of the game, so I do expect uh, glitches. Okay, so we're using all of our workers... But these houses are not full. Uh, gold is coming in slowly. Food is fine for the moment. I think we can... Yeah, we've got a couple of idle workers. I am pushing ahead here. Yeah, wood is becoming the problem now. Let's, uh, let's deal with this. Because I'm trying to build really quick. I did it a little bit more leisurely last time. But you've kind of done it a few times over. You kind of have a plan in your head. But like I say, the, the good thing to that is it gives me an opportunity to um, to explain various things that I've learned. So I'm hoping this is a slightly more informative episode. Okay, we've got a lot of people coming through now. Excellent. Do we have some wood? We're definitely going to need to build that forest. So this is not an issue I had last time, but um, I'd not quite expanded that quickly. Uh, food... Let's get the granary here. And the reason I'm putting the granary here, by the way, is because I don't want to take any of this land because we're going to put in a uh, reservoir. So we'll come across here because the reservoir needs its own little space. Let's double, double check everything. It's under food. I think we were going to go there, but then we need a well here so we can drop one of those in. That is all going great. We've got 35 idle people. Still thinking of that forester. Let's um, let's put some anti-dragon stuff in. What have we run out of? Wood? Yeah, obviously. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I suppose we could just follow this road along here rather than... Let's come across. Like so. Oh, a dragon. 
Who knew a dragon was coming? <laughs> Clearly not me. Uh, do we have any wood? We have a little bit. We ain't going to get this built in time, obviously, but... I think that was a, I think that was about the height we were going to do it. I know we haven't got the wood. Oh, come on. I only want to see if we, if we got the range. Come on, give me some wood. I think it was one higher, to be honest, last time. Oh, it's a big dragon as well. Yeah, that'll be the one. Oh, it is a big... Oh, he's going to set pipe... Set fire to pyre, set fire to my stockpile. It's gonna turn it into a pyre, especially if there's anybody in there when it gets burnt. Oh, we might actually take this one out. These ones are quite. Oh, yeah, we have got it. Oh, he damaged my wall and another merchant. That means we need to build a mason. Okay, what have you got for us? Nothing. Not interested. Give me some special items. Right, that that means Mason, 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 Mason. Could probably sneak one of those in here, couldn't we? There we go. Woo! Take a breath. That's the most kind of productive I think I've ever been in ten minutes in in any kind of game. Uh, we got you up and coming. Awesome. That is done. I'm just trying to make sure that I've done everything I should be doing. Aha. Uh -huh. Pause the game one moment, please. Come across here. Let's just double check. Industry, Forester. I think that'll be quite good. they got a little bit longer to walk, but because these roads are fairly quick, they should get here in a, a fairly quick time. Okay, this is all going swellingly, if that's even a word. And let's have a see up here. Gold is coming in. Nice. So let's get some towers put up here. we got a few spare people. So we can afford to bring people up here. Castle. I'm kind of thinking I might get some of these into the right height first. Or the height that I'm going to put them. Rather than build a whole wall and then chuck the ballistas and stuff on top. Because, um, oh, this chair is certainly not comfortable after a year and a half of abuse of my bottom being in it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I digress, clearly. Yeah, so if I build a whole wall and then chuck the ballistas on top, that is um, potential for a disaster. Those of you that are wondering what I mean by that is the fact that the ogre will smash down all the walls. Although, to pretend when you do it something small like this, they'll probably take out the one most important structure you've got. But can we um, can we come out here a little bit? There we go. You got quite a few troopers with you, haven't you? What have we got in here? No soldiers. We've got some stuff though. Let's let's do that. Is that a plague I just saw? It is, but that won't be a problem. It's only a small one. Food. It's fine. Gold is fine. I know we need 500 gold should that trader come back again. Um, okay, that means we're probably going to need another charcoal maker, which makes sense. I'm expanding fairly quickly. You have your workers in there. Awesome. Stone isn't doing too bad considering I stopped one of the traders. Not traders. The <laughs> one of the uh, one of the miners or quarrymen or what whatever they referred to. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That doesn't feel very high at all. How many is it? One, two, three, four, five. I like the idea of six or seven because it means it's like six or seven hits before it finally crumbles. But that's, that's quite a serious bit of range we have on there. What's the edge of the range on this one? Okay, so you go just up to the tavern. And if I put one on here now... Okay, so there's a bit, bit of a blind spot there. There won't be one once I get one here. And we are playing on fast speed here, so it's taking a little bit of time to get 
all the stuff brought over. Let's, um... Guess we're gonna have to go another one higher, right? Hmm. I didn't really want to, but... I guess we'll do it anyway. And again, the higher these walls are, the more difficult it is for the, uh, for the yoga to take out. I can live with that. I can most definitely live with that. Okay, so they're all working away. I best not kind of give them any more work until they've done that. Uh, we have the mason. Did they fix the wall? They did. Perfect. I'll just push the three key on my keyboard, trying to speed the game up, but it doesn't want to go any faster. And um, dragons. Excellent ruler. Rats. We need granaries, really? I'm not sure what you're referring to because we seemingly have a load of stuff. So this is actually putting resources in here. So if we were struggling for stuff, we could actually take some out of here. That that may explain why some of the resources have dropped a bit. Hmm. And I'm guessing people won't come and take stuff from here. We'll soon find out once it's full. Because when it's full and we're not trading anymore, then that'll answer the question, will people take them from there in a time of need? That would be quite an interesting thing to find out. Okay, the... Uh, the gold is going through the roof. Let's drop that back a little bit. I'm probably going to regret that when the trade boat comes. Still going up, even though I've dropped it to one. How is our happiness? 89. Fantastic. We are an excellent ruler. There is no doubt in that. Okay. So let's take another look at the food. So we got minus 25 uh, for a change from last year. But I reckon if we put a Noria in here... Assuming that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm tempted to put it there, but it's just going to look odd, isn't it? So let's put you here. And we will build our... Just under food. Why am I getting so confused? I'll build you there. If I remember rightly, I'm pretty sure you can build these across the top. Yes. Without actually damaging the farm. Which is perfect. Might as well just run a nice little road along there to the end. And having that up and running, I can't remember what the uh, bonus is. I mean, we got plus two because the soil here is really fertile anyway. But this could make the difference between us having tons of farms and just a few re really high productive ones. And it's going to... This is all barren, isn't it? Yeah. So that should convert quite a bit of this land into useful land for us. And I can remove these horrible... In fact... Yeah, we have quite a few tools. Let's let's remove some of them now while I think about it. Awesome. Just having a quick nosy around. Yeah, I'm quite quite happy with what's going on. We've got a population of 360. This is almost done, which is gonna Free people up, but lose them at the same time, because some people will have to go in there and work. That is clearly not going to be enough to... Oh, a trade boat. Why are you going that way around? Just trying to, to freak me out. I thought you were Vikings and it hadn't warned me. We're definitely going to need another ballista of a similar height somewhere around here. Just so they can cover each other, unless the, like the, the ogre is here. But you need to have an overlap of at least... Um, coming round the base of this for the, with the next one, either one here and one here. Just because if there's one banging away at this and the other two can't hit it, it's not it's not going to help. And the odds are you will lose your tower. Here comes the trader. Uh oh, let's put the money up a minute. <laughs> Just in case that 500 one comes through. We can trade stuff to get that. Please give me something exciting. Let's tell the people I wasn't telling lies. Oh, it's going to look that way. There's no special items. Sucks. Ah, never mind. Hopefully we will see that at some point. I, I, I guess also, if you guys have seen it, you could also say in the comments. Because I've only seen the one for the archers. Okay, we've got 11 people spare, which is not a lot. We are doing some building here. Yeah, 
Yep. Just waiting for this. Sorry, I, I stopped for a second to adjust my headphones and because you know, I've been streaming so much recently, I forget that you can't see me, so <laughs> I should have said one second. I mean, I, I could edit it out, but hey, I want you people to remember I'm still human. And what we got going on here? 39 wood, yes. Oh, was that one of these? Are you ready to blow? Yep. So are you. When someone sticks one wood in you. Boom. Come on, here they are. Boom. Job done. Come on, the anticipation is killing me. Slowly, slowly does it. Actually, do you know what? Oh. They actually got me. So this land is now turned... It's barren, but it's receiving irrigation. So it's got a slightly different colour, as you can see. So we're getting plus one for irrigation. I don't know if that gets better over time or whether that is just it. I think it is. I think it's a base value. Which means we can now can expand our farms quite nicely, but we're now also getting plus one for all the other places, which is brilliant. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to leave this episode right here. Thank you very much for watching, but until next time, as always, take care.